Anasazian. Yes. Thanks for being here. You're with Vicente Cedarberg. Yes. Which is, I'm not going to blow smoke, like this is the preeminent law firm in the states related to cannabis. I'm not wrong. We have a pretty good presence. Yeah, we Based have a pretty good Denver? presence in the... You're in LA, but... I'm in LA. Yeah. Um, so our first office was in Denver, yeah. but we're now in Denver, LA, San Francisco, Jacksonville, Boston, and the New York tri-state area. And then we have a pretty good presence um, just through all the connections that we have throughout the other states where there really is an active cannabis industry, whether that's assisting with licensing or working on corporate transactions there, or assisting with regulatory work. So we like to keep a good presence. All yeah. of the above, all of those places, growing, exciting things happening. What specifically is your focus as it relates to the cannabis space? So my focus is corporate transactions and banking. So financing, uh, M&A deals, loan transactions, and then just, you know, the ultimate pain point in the industry, which is banking. Yeah. So I want to focus specifically on that. Yeah. Because we talk about on the Canadian landscape, we're, we're sitting in front of a Canadian flag, so I'm going to bring in the Canadian landscape. And one of the things we have done right in Canada has done national, right? It's gone national. So so banking is, it's always an issue, but it's not illegal, and it's not, uh, it's federally okay. It's more of an issue of banks wanting to enter this exactly. industry for you guys rather than being afraid to exactly. enter this so industry. So I want to talk specifically about that. And there is a thought sort of in the, in the sphere of sort of the cannabis sector, that that, if that shoe were to drop or barrier to go down, Canada, uh, the U.S. would just go gangbusters. Is that your perspective too? I think it would be greatly helpful to the cannabis industry. I think we're already seeing the start of being gangbusters happening. Yeah. We have more states that have pretty robust cannabis industries, whether it's on the medical side or on the adult use side than not, and more and more are coming online. We have constantly different people of different backgrounds coming into the industry, whether you know they're the true believers or they're coming at it from an economic standpoint or they're coming at it from a scientific standpoint. So I think banking barrier is just another way to get more folks enmeshed in this industry. But I do think it would be absolutely helpful to get banking opened up. Yeah, I want to talk specifically about that as it boils down to sort of consumer interactions uh -huh. or consumer transactions. We, uh, yesterday as we arrived in, in Las Vegas, we went to Planet 13. I, I didn't need to call that out, except I did on our on our You website. went to a dispensary. I went to a dispensary, although I did write about it on businessofcannabis.ca, so anybody who reads about it can know about it. But the actual purchasing component is I tried to pay with a Canadian credit card, like we do in Canada, Right. and they said, no, you can't pay with that credit card. It has to be a US one, which opened up like a transaction that you, you scan something, and then you get a text, and then you enter a code. Yeah. It took about 10 minutes to pay, plus $3. Like, that's an awful transaction from a consumer perspective, obviously, but how do you, how do you integrate that into a real business? So, I look Should at... <laughs> So I look at banking and I look at credit card transactions from a pretty conservative attorney's point of view. And for me, there really should not be credit card transactions happening in the cannabis space in plant touching businesses because first of all, there's no merchant category code for uh, a cannabis transaction. And second of all, the major credit card networks have made it known that they don't want cannabis uh, related transactions on their rails. Now there are third party processors that will use, um, you know, like an in the middle kind of transaction yeah, exactly to run right, yeah, this. Yeah. And so that's why you'll see that kind of clunky model of it took an extra 10 minutes and an extra $10 to yeah. do it because it's not just a straight transaction. But even with that, the credit card networks have been clear, no cannabis related transactions on our rails until further notice. So I don't really know that there's a way to get around that. This industry is a very innovative place and banking has had to be innovative with that. I just look at things more as conservatively. Yeah. yeah, as an attorney and I'm like, mm, just use cash for now because yeah. it's really the only thing you should be doing or maybe accepting checks if someone, a patient or a consumer wants to write you a check. Yeah, so we'll go back 30 years and people write checks. Right, <laughs> I don't even know where my checkbook is. Right. So It's in the drawer. Which drawer? The drawer, yeah. obviously. That drawer. Sahar, when we come back here next year and sit on these same chairs in front of a Canadian flag, right. what do you think we will have learned in the in 2020? I think 2020 is going to be the year where we really start to see who the front runners in the industry are. Um, obviously, the markets right now are going through their own transitional period. 
and a lot of operators are starting to have to deal with day-to-day -day operational issues and whatnot. So I'm very excited for 2020 and seeing who the top runners then are and who are the folks that came through from 2019 or 2018 and onward. I think we're just going to be looking, hopefully, at who the cream of the crop is at that point. It'll be really exciting to see, and we hope you'll come back again then. And we'll oh, sit absolutely. Down with us. I appreciate, Sahar, you coming by from Vicente Cedarburg. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Nice to talk Good with to you. Good to see you, too. Thank you for having we me. We hope to see you down the road. Absolutely. Great.